Something that Microsoft introduced back inside the 2010 edition of Microsoft Word is the ability to insert videos into your Word documents. Now, first time I saw this, I thought, well, that seems kind of odd. I mean, we got moving graphics, videos that you're gonna put into a Word document. Typically, when I deal with Word documents, I'm really dealing with them in two different ways. I'm dealing with them in Word, typically when I'm making adjustments to them, creating them, and so on, or I've printed it out. Or maybe, maybe even a third option, I've exported it to a PDF. Okay, but in the print scenario, a video really doesn't do me a whole lot of good. What's the point? Well, if you still said a word, we can drop the image in there or drop the video in there and be able to watch and play that video. If you convert it into a PDF, still electronic, you'd be able to work with that video as well. So this is another really simple process, very similar, almost exact, to inserting images and manipulating those images. But now we're dealing with videos. Take a look. So I've got the example file open. It's a simple one. It's just got some text. You can use it if you like, or you can just open up your own document. But this one's called 16 Inserting Videos. So again, first step, very similar to images. You click where you want to place the video. So I click down here, second paragraph. Now I'm going to go up to my Insert tab, top of my screen. Uh, right next door, right next door to illustrations that we saw earlier, you got Media. And the only option in there is online video. Now I'll give you a, a quick FYI. If you're inside a PowerPoint, you get two options. You can insert online videos into PowerPoint, plus you can insert videos from your computer. Here inside of Word, it's just online image or online videos. So I go in here, click the online video button. It's gonna open up my browse window where I got three options. Now you recall earlier when we were talking about pictures. This is a Microsoft tool, so you can search Bing and grab videos online through Microsoft search engine Bing. You can use YouTube, or if you've got the video embed code from a web page, then you could drop that in here as well. Well, for this example, I'm gonna use YouTube. So I'm gonna open up a browser here. Let me just grab it. There we go. Now here's a video that I have through Office Noob up on YouTube. And this one talks about Excel 2013, the new flash fill feature. Now what I'm gonna do here, I wanna get the sharing URL for this video. So I find the option for share. I'm gonna to go to the share option here, and I'm just gonna grab this URL, this YouTube address. We'll just grab that, we'll copy it, Control C. Let's move that window out of the way, and I'm just gonna paste it into the search box. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the little magnifying glass. This will go search. It's searching YouTube. It's found it. There it is. So I'll select it. And down below, much like online images or pictures, I'm going to insert. And there it is. I've now dropped that video into my Microsoft Word document. Now, very important here, this is pulling this video from YouTube, from an online source. So it's important if somebody wants to view this video that they do have internet connection available to them. Uh, so all I need to do here is click the little play button. Now it doesn't actually play it inside the Word document itself. It kind of brings it up on the screen itself. Water, water um, uh, kind of fades out the rest of the document in the background. But now I can play it into this little video player right here from my Microsoft Word document. Pretty slick. Now again, I'm gonna hit my escape key just to close this out. All it was, Insert, online video. You got three options on how you can grab those videos. I did the YouTube. You can just type in keywords and search. I went and grabbed the URL itself, pasted that in there, and it was able to drop that into my Microsoft Word document. Try this out, it's really simple to do, and you're gonna create more dynamic content inside of Word. But remember, it's online, so you've gotta have the internet connection. So try this out. Now with videos, much like images, there are some formatting options you have available to you. And it's really just more about the presentation of the little video capture, that initial image that goes into the Word document itself. Not really the video, but just the little image that's there. So first step, I select the little video that I got there. Just make sure I click on that, I get the little resize handles around it, just like you get inside of a, uh, an image, so I can resize that. Okay, I can do wrap text, just like you can do with an image. 
And then once I've wrapped that, I can move it around within there. Let's put it right smack in the middle of that paragraph. Nah, you know what, let's put that back to the side. We start splitting those sentences, it becomes hard to read. You've got the format tab, they actually call it picture tools. We got the format tab up there where you can put borders and styles on that. That one's kind of neat right there, I think I'll grab that. You can play around with your own styles as well. You can do the wrap text from here. It's really all the same options that you get out of your images or your pictures when you drop those into your Microsoft Word document. But now it's a video. And again, it's all about presentation because now I just go play that video. Again, it doesn't play it in the document, but it opens up this little player and you can play the video from here. But nice, clean presentation, something stylized and fancy really makes it pop off of that page. So try this out. Again, drop a video in there. Remember, it's insert online videos. Go grab a video from wherever you're grabbing it from. Drop it in there. And then try messing around a little bit with the formatting commands. Add some style. Wrap the text. Whatever you want to do with it. But get a video in there. Play around with it.